All right, guys, let's go ahead and discover what's really new in Illustrator 2025. Starting with that amazing tool in here, it's called Objects on Bath. And I see tons of creativity can be achieved using that tool alone and few clicks. So here, for instance, we have these characters, as you can see. However, let's say we need to align them on that path. And instead of uh, dragging each and every one of them like so, let's select all these characters, select our tool in here and click on that path like so. And they are aligned. Now you see they are flipped. We can easily rotate them like so maintaining shift key while we're doing that like so then we can reposition them then here we have option for spacing so we can start <laughs> bringing them together also we can start rotating them from here <laughs> along the path very cool tool as you can see and once you're happy with that you can uh, disable that curve selecting your direct selection tool click in here delete that one and it's gone also let's quickly undo that and let me show you guys another way to edit these options once you have your shape selected you can go to object objects on bath if they are not expanded you can expand them so you can maybe easily remove the bath you do have options as well where you can reset them as they were or change your anchor point another example if you put them on a circle so let's see that in action selecting them again let's select our object on bath tool hovering over that circle clicking in here we have them aligned we can change our reference point like so by clicking in here where they're gonna be inside or outside from here we can start rotating them 180 degrees <laughs> and let's change reference point so now they are standing on that circle maybe we can place a globe or earth in here walking around earth or something like that maybe for illustration book or something like that in that example and again if we select them we can work spacing from here as well maybe half a circle I also can place an earth planet or so in here <laughs> And also we can use that tool for designing logos or geometrical shapes easily. So if we go to that part in here, let's zoom in. And actually I'm going to be talking about two more features, new features actually in Illustrator 2025. So if we go ahead and maybe create a shape like that, you can easily create a similar shape using star tool, use arrows up and down to create your shape. That's what I created in here. And you can start working on these anchor points to make them curvy like that and maybe here as well okay once you do have a shape like that let's say we need to fill that one with gradient color cool gradients actually maybe something like that you can go ahead and select your uh, swatches from here and what's really cool is that we can click on that color and let's hold and maintain command and click on that one as well and that one so let's create a gradient of these three new colors uh, by clicking on that hamburger menu. Then from here you can generate patterns, however this is beta. Instead we're not going to use that one now, we're going to be creating a gradient. And right away you'll find that your gradient panel is opened, you have your colors. You can customize your gradient of course if you want to have a more dominant pink for instance or so. If you want to change your angles. Uh, maybe 60 degrees or so if you want to change type radial instead and you can add that gradient color to your swatches if you want by dragging that one from here to there I already did that before as you can see so that's one cool feature to create gradients easily like that the other cool feature is that we're going to be deleting that one and selecting our shapes i duplicated that one multiple times as you can see then we can select our new tool and click on the path and instantly like that we do have a logo if you will and you can start messing with these shapes like so to get something maybe floral shape or so maybe something like that and also you can change your opacity from here uh, instead of normal maybe something like multiply or screen or so now we can use uh, maybe direct selection tool select that one move tool and move that one away 
because I want to get that shape again then actually we can ungroup them from here because I'm about to show you that option as well which is gen shape fill it's still in beta so I'm gonna select that one alone let's expand it a bit alt and shift key zooming in then let's type something like um, swirls generate so that's what you get when you do have a color you can try different shapes also let's undo that and let's remove that gradient from here and let's type something like doodle we have some suggestions in there characters okay uh, generate <laughs> okay <laughs> that's what we got in there uh, not bad uh, it's still in beta remember another one it's giving me uh, doodles but vegetables and and this one is somehow Chinese or so and instead of that let's type um, floral I don't really like that option let's try that one as uh, that's way better and this one is very cool if we deselect our selection we can see how that looks like very cool actually to get something like that in one click or so and you do have some options as well so let's click on settings in there it's including that one and that one as well these two buttons are included in here so view all settings so how adherent to shape it's high move that one here it's not gonna be contained in that shape very much and also for details you want to have maximum details or lower or minimum also you can select a style reference from here just like image creation and effects as well geometric maybe flat design or maybe doodle so we can add that one instead and for color and tone you can select from here black and white I'm gonna keep it as this a number of colors it's black and white so we're not gonna be adding any colors so let's generate that's what we got it's not entirely black and white for this one we still have the previous colors included for some reason but yeah very cool I really like that one and that one maybe if we have a fresh start on another shape we're not gonna have these boundaries included as well also image tracing has been really enhanced in Illustrator 2025 so here for instance we have an image from Midjourney that's not a vector shape in here you can search maybe for logos in Midjourney so here we have it you can type vector logo gradient or something like that to get some of these cool logos and let's say we want to trace any of these images we can add that one in Illustrator select your image you'll find image trace so that doesn't look amazing as you can see however if we click in here and here we can convert that one to high color from a preset and from here we can click on gradients which is really new option so instead of having all these colors in here we can smooth that from here to max and we can start enhancing our tracing from here as well maybe working on our bath try that way or the other way also can reduce corners and maybe work on noise as well so probably we're not going to use that one as a logo but it's really cool to have that gradient feature in here maybe if we want to have something vector and we want to smooth our colors for some cool gradients we can do that in illustrator now however instead we can use that image as maybe a design poster that we want to print on a very large scale without being worried about resolution because we have that one as a vector Hope you enjoyed that one guys, that was Khalil Ibrahim with you, stay creative and I'll be seeing you in next one.